Good day everyone, Jack here from Farmer Jack Jokes. Today we follow up on our uh, what we started a couple of weeks ago, a little bit of uncut raw Farmer Jack for you. And my, have I got a surprise for you guys. It's been quite a bit of time that I've been trying to set this up, but I have managed to get a very important guest to our channel today. Now a lot of you know him, a lot of you have heard about him. I don't believe anyone have ever seen him, but I have been fortunate enough to bring him to this YouTube channel today. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like you to, I would like to introduce to you the one and only Little Johnny. But that's not a YouTube channel. It's a mobile phone on a flimsy stand, Jack. I know, Johnny, this is just a flimsy stand with my mobile phone on it. But I make videos for my viewers on YouTube with this flimsy stand so they can have a look at us. So yes, we make videos for YouTube like this. We keep it simple and we keep it raw. Cool. Now go on, Jack. I will watch you. Now, Johnny, as you know, a lot of people around YouTube make jokes about you. And uh, I have been making a lot of jokes about you. And uh, today I would like to tell for the viewers a bit of little Johnny jokes. You know, while we've got Johnny here, I've been trying so hard to get a hold of him. While we've got him here, let's do a little bit of a little Johnny joke. I know he's much older now, but he will still remember clearly how things went down. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you and start the session by telling a little Johnny joke. Johnny, what do you think? No, you won't. Now, hang on a little, hang on, just hang on a bit, Johnny. Everyone knows little Johnny jokes and everyone is okay with it. They tell it all around YouTube. So what do you guys think? Hey, everyone knows Johnny. It's not like you're new to us. Everyone knows you. So let's get going with it. Eh? Everyone, I'm sure, the, I'm sure the views will like it. What do you guys think? Eh? I'm sure, I'm sure they like it. That's your opinion. But I am little Johnny, and I am not okay with it. I gave no one permission to tell my jokes. I must at least be able to check the jokes to see if they are my best jokes. Yeah, okay, Johnny. I know, obviously, you can go argue with, with all the guys on YouTube that have made some jokes about you before. But at least, what do you guys think? You can give me permission to tell one little Johnny joke. Hey, Johnny, what do you think? Give me permission. I'll be the first on YouTube to tell a little Johnny joke with 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 little Johnny here. Yeah? And uh, if with his permission, we'll give it a go and we'll have a little bit of a chuckle about little Johnny. What do you guys say? Johnny, what do you think? Okay, as long as it's authentic. Okay, so let's go with that little Johnny joke. So Johnny, when he was much younger, he was still in kindergarten. He used to be in class with Mrs. Smith. And all the kids in the class used to love Mrs. Smith. They used to have a blast what, sorry, what, Johnny? No, Jack. Miss Smith gave class to us when we were all about 10 years old, not in kindergarten. Okay, I didn't have the information correctly, but like Johnny said, it wasn't kindergarten. So, Johnny, yes, okay, I agree. It wasn't kindergarten. You guys were all about 10 years old when this happened, when this went down. Okay. So, uh, like Johnny said, you know, they were all 10 years old in the class, but everyone loved Mrs. Smith. All the kids liked her and... This joke is about all of them bringing little presents for Miss Smith. Hey, hey, Johnny. You know, Jack, you will always have those kids who just like to impress the teachers. Bringing her nice goodies, you know. Trying to keep in her good books. But not me. I just had to be in the class. Else there would not have been a joke. Okay, okay, I get you, Johnny. Hey, guys, we all got it, eh? Is it okay, Johnny, if I can continue with the joke? Are you happy with that? Johnny? Okay? Okay, right, guys, let's go. Sure. Continue. Okay, so this day was Mrs. Smith's birthday. Johnny, was correct, eh? And everyone brought a little present for Mrs. Smith. That's because everyone liked in the class, and obviously there were different opinions, like Johnny said. But yes, it was a birthday, and all the kids in the class decided to bring her a little present for her birthday, for a very special day. Johnny? Oh, yes. I remember that day. It was funny. 
Okay, just don't mess it up now, Jack. Okay, so as they were in the class the first day, this little girl stood up and brought a little present for Miss Smith. And say, Miss Smith, congratulations with your birthday. I brought you a little present. Uh, yeah, Jenny? Sarah. Her name was Sarah. Her parents owned the candy store. Okay, thanks, Johnny. Thank you. So, Sarah, this little girl, brought Mrs. Smith this box uh, with this present in. And like Johnny just said, Mrs. Smith knew that her parents owned a candy store. So Mrs. Smith took the box and she shook the box and she said, uh, Sarah, let me guess, is this candy? And Sarah was very happy. She clapped her hands, very happy that Miss Smith knew exactly what was the present that she brought for her. So she said, yes, Miss Smith, that's correct, eh? Yes, Miss Smith, it is candy. So anyway, when Sarah was done, this little boy stood up, walked to the front of the class with a little box as a present, as a present for Miss Smith. Eh, Johnny? It was Timmy, Jack. He always wanted to impress Miss Smith and his parents were florists. So we all knew it was going to be some flowers. Yes, and I had the best present for her in my box. Now, Jack, you need to know that at that stage, my parents owned a liquor store. So I stood up and took my present to Miss Smith. She obviously knew my parents owned a liquor store. Okay, Johnny, so, so she obviously expected something in line of a, a bottle of wine or something, eh? Th knowing that your parents were uh, owned a liquor store, eh? You guys? Makes sense, eh? Hey, Johnny? Well, Jack, she shook my box and said, Let me guess, Johnny, is it a bottle of wine? Now, why will I bring her a bottle of wine? I knew she cannot have alcohol at school. I said, no, ma'am, it's not wine. Oh, obviously. Obviously, you didn't want to bring a bottle of wine to the class, eh? So, Johnny obviously didn't have wine in his presence, knowing that, you know, you can't bring alcohol to the class. Okay, no, make sense, Johnny. Okay, make sense. Obviously. So, shook it again and said, is it a bottle of juice, Johnny? Now, I don't know why she thought I was going to give her a bottle of juice. I mean, my parents had a liquor store, not a supermarket. So once again, I said, no, ma'am, it's not a bottle of juice. Okay, Johnny, so I know what the punchline was for this joke. Obviously, you were the only one was there. So then she shook the box and, Johnny, what happened next? Yeah, yeah, let, us, let us know what happened next. Well, at that stage, the box started to leak some liquids probably because of all the shaking. <laughs> okay, so I can obviously clearly, I clearly know what's coming next, but uh, Johnny, tell us what happened next. Miss Smith took her finger, took some of the liquid that was leaking from the box and put her finger in her mouth to taste it. So what was in the box, Johnny? Let us have it. Tell us what was in the box. <laughs> she then said to me, I don't know what it is, Johnny. Please tell me. I said to Miss Smith, well, ma'am, I knew you were alone at night, so I got you a little puppy. Okay, Johnny, this is very funny. So what she was actually tasting was the little puppy that had a little bit of a wee in this box. So that's what Mrs. Smith was tasting. Obviously, in typical little Johnny fashion. Johnny, what happened then? Well, Miss Smith did not think it was very funny, but I had my chuckles. Johnny in the class, the class think it was funny, or did the class not laugh at it, you know? Obviously, it's very, very funny. Exactly, Jack. Exactly. Okay, Johnny, so this joke we have done before on our channel. Uh, we have told the people the story. The names might have changed. We didn't have the correct information. So uh, have you ever seen the way we tell our jokes with uh, AI characters like yourself? So have you ever seen us telling any of these jokes? Have you ever seen any of these? Just see if Johnny have ever seen one of the jokes we made. No. I was not allowed to watch YouTube those days, and I did not know people were interested in my exploits. Okay, Johnny, it was obviously very, very nice having a chat with you today. I know it's very short, and I would really like to, uh, uh, you know, get you around again, have a chat with you again, you know, that perhaps you can tell us some of your other jokes, or I'll research it, and you can just help us, you know, with the correct information. So, uh, yeah, please come around, please come around again and come join us again, you know, for little bit more little Johnny jokes. I know everyone enjoys. Don't you guys enjoy the little Johnny jokes? So yes, if you can please come and join us again, you know, and we can have more of your jokes and you can tell us more, you know, of exactly what went down. Yes. 
and tell all the people watching your jokes to keep watching. And I will bring you some more Little Johnny jokes to make on your channel. Okay guys, thank you very much for joining us today. Very glad that we could have Little Johnny here. So, I'm gonna show Johnny and guys, please sit in, have a look. It's a very short joke, uh, the way we originally made it. Now you guys know what happened behind the scenes, what the real story was. So yes, uh, let us finish up and let's play that joke and Johnny can see it as well. I know if he likes it, so he'll join us again. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys enjoy. Here's a joke, eh? Cheers. On the last day of kindergarten, all the children brought presents for their teacher. The florist's son handed the teacher a gift. She shook it, held it up, and said, I bet I know what it is. It's some flowers. That's right, shouted the little boy. Then the candy store owner's daughter handed the teacher a gift. She held it up, shook it, and said, I bet I know what it is. It's a box of candy. That's right, shouted the little girl. The next gift was from the liquor store owner's son, little Johnny. The teacher held it up and saw that it was leaking. She touched a drop with her finger and tasted it. Is it wine? She asked. No, said little Johnny. The teacher touched another drop to her tongue. Is it juice? She asked. No, he answered. Finally, the teacher said, I give up. What is it? Little Johnny replied, it's a little puppy. <laughs>